Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Day One Radio right here on Live Hip Hop Daily. I'm Maurice Garland. I'm in here with my man, Brandon Peters, BP, the Lifestyle Specialist. You still calling yourself that these days, Lifestyle man? King, bro. Lifestyle, Lifestyle King. King. <laughs> Specialist with somebody else. <laughs> Lifestyle King. What's good, buddy? Everything cool, man. Everything cool. How, how was your, your turkey day, man? Um, shit, was no turkey involved. Shit, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, I had no turkey. What nah, you, what nah, you, you know what I'm saying? Salmon, you know what I'm saying? Had okay. some, had, had some salmon, some roasted Brussels sprouts, some, some, some gluten free stuffing, some, uh, some goddamn. What else we had? Some, some uh, well, the, uh some casserole, some sweet potato casserole. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was pretty low key was though. Fancy. Okay, you know it's pretty low key. Just kicked it with the wife and dogs. And, okay, and it's pretty low key. How was yours, man? It was cool, man. Stayed local, hit a couple houses, man. I um, went to uh, the homie Big Mike house. We fried turkeys actually the night before. That was my first time frying a turkey. How'd you like it? It turned out good. Your yeah, fried turkey's cool. Out. Yeah, no, cool. I, but I've had fried turkey. Yeah. I'm just saying, I didn't know if mine was going to be Ah, okay, okay, but okay. But it, okay. it turned out pretty cool. So now my family done caught wind and they like. So when you come home for Christmas, you know you on <laughs> turkey frying duty. I'm like, all right, I guess so. But um, it was cool, man. Just ate, drank, you know, played some games. Men against the women at the oh, crib. Wow. We kicked their ass. You know, at what? At at a celebrity and a black car revoked. So what a celebrity? Some game. It's kind of like charade, not charades. I guess taboo. Like the everybody takes. Puts three names in a hat, mm-hmm. and then you uh, the mix it up. The first round, you can say anything you want to describe the person you pull out. The second round, you can only use one word, and the third round, you can only like do motions and stuff to describe. So it was pretty cool because it's it's the same names. So after a while, you kind of figure out you know who's in the hat, oh. so you guess. Okay. And some games could be doubled up because if we write the same thing down. So it was cool. It was real. I guess that's like a tradition that they crib on the holidays that they play that. So that was cool. And then I went to the homie Mel crib and uh, drank a little bit with her and her family. And they had me lightweight twisted. What <laughs> 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 not? Or what, something what, she what, called what, what? a pimp shake. A pimp shake. What goes in a pimp shake? I don't. I don't even know. If I'm not supposed to say it, uh, it might be a secret recipe. I don't know. But it's <laughs> Hennessy. Cavassier, uh, Grand Marnier, a splash of Kahlua, and then I had almond milk and not regular milk. I don't, I don't know how much pimping going on after drinking something like that. <laughs> she said, don't, she said don't, don't let the pimp shake you. You shake the pimp. Yeah, 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 yeah man. I don't, I don't know about you. Yeah. I will remain a spectator with that one. <laughs> did you did you and do did you and the wife do any uh, Black Friday stuff? Um, no, no, not together at least. I did catch myself some deals though. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, um, <laughs> I find look, I didn't get to share this with you, but uh, I finally redeemed myself from my uh, experience. But remember that fake ass Utah jersey? Yes, that, yes. that I wound up getting. You know, what I'm saying? Yes. I was trying to get one of them Utah Jazz City jerseys at the color block joint. Yeah. You know, went on eBay some months ago. What showed up in the mail got. was not in the picture. Got, <laughs> got, got in the got. worst way, but they re-released them officially. Yeah. So I caught me one like a couple weeks ago, but then like on the Black Friday joint, I had got the uh, one of the Bucks joints. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause they had like, like a super sale on there. I actually had to kind of calm down, man. Because it's like Black Friday, I did fall for the traps this year. Usually, you know what I'm saying? I've never been like the flat screen TV washer yeah. and dryer person. I've just been like, oh, I'm going to get these little hats. I'm going to get these sneakers that or something like that. That stuff adds up, though. Yeah, it adds up. It did like, you know, I don't know if you got harassed, but did you get harassed by emails all weekend, oh, too? yeah. Because <laughs> now what it is, because I think they noticed people wasn't going out shopping as much. The, all these companies, if they got brick and mortar stores, you can get the same deals at the brick and mortar stores as you can get online. Mm-hmm. So now it ain't even like Cyber Monday; it's like Cyber Week yeah, or right, Cyber right, Weekend. Right, right. And I seen people extending it in the Tuesday, but I, I ended up. What's funny is me, uh, Fallon, and and Craig mobbed out to the outlets. We was like, we can either get up early in the morning or go now. Yeah, it was like <laughs> ain't nobody getting up early in the right, morning. So right. we drove out there and like. <laughs> to the outlets and uh i caught caught, caught a couple polo joints man um and that was about it man i dude i did see a dope ass um that brand 11 paris 
they had a super dope crew okay, neck, okay, but it was yeah. Euro cut. I went and tried oh, to join on. Yeah. It felt like I was going to the gym <laughs> or something. <laughs> Now I hear you on that. So you yeah, I, 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 but I didn't, I didn't do too much damage. I kind of, I bought gifts and stuff. Mm -hmm. I got something for my goddaughter, got something for my pops, stuff like that. So that, that was cool. Yeah, I saw a lot of folks complaining about uh, some of the websites that went down. I think like Target, no, no, Walmart went down, wow. J Crew went down, Lulu Lemon went down. And for, it, 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 but what was making me trip out was that people were mad that they could not spend money. Like folks was like on Twitter. I like, look at that as a blessing. Like fuck J like, Crew, J Crew, you trash. Your website went down on Black Friday. You trash. And I'm like, bro, you well, might have saved yourself. Goddamn, some bread. I not I wasn't them. supposed to have it, man. Right. I, I had my eye on this coke and was so ready to get it. <laughs> The scotch and soda joint, and that they did not have my size. I was mm -hmm. like, I must mean I ain't supposed to have. Oh yeah, scotch and soda makes nice stuff. I'm gonna keep keep my money <laughs> in the in the bank. Well, yeah, man. So it's it's good. I tell you, who did not have a good Thanksgiving? Who is that? And that is a uh, Takashi Six Nine. Ah, Blicky with the sticky. <laughs> yes, the Mr. Blicky with the sticky. He did not have a good Thanksgiving. He was incarcerated away from his family mm. on Thanksgiving. Not to make light of that, because we don't want to see nobody go to prison. Unless they need to be there, but unless you're, or like some people ask for it, and it seems like this particular person behaves like a person that wants to go to prison. Like, so what? What do you think about just? It just, I think because he's such a troll, people are like, is this real? Because it's just been so weird. Like the U.S. Marshals pick him up, which is normally some state shit. But he's going to federal prison as federal charges, and it's like the everything is super quick except for the try. It just seemed real weird. Like mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know what's what's really going on. Like I've never heard of a RICO charge for five people. Like normally when the, when you get rounded up and it's a RICO charge for you know uh, a criminal organization doing things and they've been looking at you for five years, they gonna round up everybody. Cause they want somebody to snitch, hmm. but just rounding up five people, I just thought that was kind of weird. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes you know, I, I think sometimes we get accustomed to seeing the whole, you know, top to bottom twenty man, thirty man crew get rounded up. Cause I think in, in a lot of times, I can, I can only base this off like some of my limited knowledge about this stuff. But it's like a lot of these laws be based on like if there's just three or more of y'all doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like for instance, okay. like you know, city of Atlanta, like. They consider you a gang and a criminal enterprise if there are three of y'all doing it. It don't even take wow. ten. You know what I'm saying? That's how they get so many people jammed up. It's like, we saw three of y'all running. Y'all are now a gang. And now we're going to throw these gang charges on you. You know what I'm saying? So I can only imagine that's probably similar to how like some of the federal stuff works where it's like, all we need is three of y'all. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, by the time the story gets to us, we see, oh, man, they got everybody. They even got the jeweler and the chef. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. That has happened. <laughs> Didn't uh, uh, Jacob the jeweler got caught up in one of them fed cases. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like that, that might be the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, man, we got the five that we wanted. You know what I'm saying? There may be more, but it's like, you know, they, they, they usually don't. Wait till there's 20 people out there. Like, they focus on just a few to get them. I'm, you know? I'm not a big fan. You know, follower of Six Nine. Like I don't follow him on social media. I don't really listen to his music or nothing like that. I kind of avoid the drama. Mm -hmm. But I, f I wonder is this going to be a cautionary tale for other artists? Because just what I know, my limited knowledge of, of street stuff and just how real gangsters move, he don't move like that. So mm -hmm. even new gangsters, like he. He strikes me as a naive kid that thought that he could be around a particular crew. He could say what he wanted to say because he felt he was protected, and he got caught up. Mm -hmm. Like, do I believe he done shot somebody so brick? Hell no. Nah. Right. Like, but, like, dude, running your mouth and hanging around the wrong people can get you caught up. But you know what? I don't, I'm, I'm not, it'll be a cautionary tale for people who are like super satellite like it might be a cautionary tale for like the 15 year old kid who just downloaded fruity loops or something you know what i'm saying <laughs> but as far as the person that is out there seeking attention and fame 
it may it may exacerbate it because like you know you you look at it i look at it the same way that we treat um serial killers and bombers in this country you know what i'm saying it's like a lot of times when you look into the psyche of these people they get inspired by seeing the attention that the prior person got you know what I'm saying like oh man the boston bomber got his face on the cover of Rolling stone mm, i like, need to do like some shit. Cat type yeah stuff. you know what i'm saying oh man they put the Colum- they made a whole documentary about the columbine shooting i need to try some shit. oh man they got this man face that shut up this school you know what i'm saying on every news channel 24 7. I want to go down in infamy too. You know what I'm saying? Not, so not, like, not to offend our less uh, melanated brothers and sisters, but ain't that normally white people to do that shit? Uh, yeah, like that, yeah, like with like extreme things like that. You know what I'm saying? But if, if we're talking about black people too, I mean, there's plenty of cats out there that see somebody, you know, what I'm saying do something crazy and get the attention and get the rep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like, don't don't let this man, you know, mess around and like. Escape all these felonious charges and everything scot free. There's going to be some copycatters like, man, if he can get face tattoos, rainbow hairstyle, get all these charges and beat it, bruh, I'm going to get, you know what I'm saying, Lucky Charms tattooed on my face. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get, you know, all kind of crazy shit going and see what I can get away with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, for with, 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 you know what I'm saying, other folks, with other communities, it may be the extremes, like, you know, the mass killings and everything. But as far as our community, no, nah, like, I'm pretty sure there's going to be some cats out there that are like, man, I need to get this kind of rep. I need to get this kind of attention so I can do numbers with whatever I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, and get folks to stand next to me so I can look this certain way. You know what I'm saying? So I think people think stuff is a game. Like you mm-hmm. do, 32 years is a long damn time yeah. to go away to prison. And I, what is it with Fed time? You if you get convicted, you doing 80? What is it? 84 percent of the time? Yeah, Bruh, This ain't no no state charge, man. This mm-hmm. ain't go in and do three and get out on good behavior. Right. That, that ain't the thing. So do do you think he gonna tell? That's um, That's what the, the, the word has been That he gone hey. I don't know but this A person like this is put in a very Tricky situation It's like say you tell Right and you are Quote unquote free You're really not free no. Cause there's people that's gonna be trying to get you for telling You know what I'm saying yeah. You don't tell you go to jail You know what I'm saying So it's I, like I don't think that these young people look at snitching the same way that our generation looked at snitching. How so? What, what do you think the difference is? I feel is? like it's, it's okay. It, um, like, I feel like they feel like, oh, well, that's my man. He, he might have snitched, but that's still my man. Whereas our generation was like, if you telling, you a rat. If you a criminal, you do criminal things, you get caught, and you tell on other criminals, you a rat. Mm-hmm. Period. Ain't no way you could be the coolest person in the world. You still did some sucker shit. Right. So I, I don't know if they look at it the same way that our generation and even our parents' generation looked at it. Like, I don't think it's nothing honorable in telling at all, but I think they kind of let stuff. I mean, look at all the clown shit he did mm-hmm. when he was out and people still liked him. Right. You know what I mean? So it, it's interesting. I, I found it real. Like, albums don't leak anymore. Right. And his album allegedly leaked. Yeah, how, how do how, 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 how does it, how do you actually leak? Like, how does that happen now? Like, what what is what does a leak consist of in this digital streaming age? Like, how does something leak? How does something come out before it was supposed? Right, because it know? used to be when when it, when joints would go to get pressed, then it may leak. Now. It's like things don't go get pressed, or if it does, it's it's an afterthought. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I felt like that was just them putting out the album to get to gauge people's interest. And then today, well, when y'all are hearing this two days later, but on Tuesday the album dropped, and I was like, I'm gonna because I know Maurice ain't gonna listen to this. <laughs> <shit. So, laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I was like, let me be the sacrificial lamb and, and, and listen to Takashi's album, Dummy Boy. And I'll do it. I'm at the gig and I'm listening to it. And I was like, this dude might be one of the worst rappers of all time. Mm. Like, it's, it's funny because 
the, like the songs with like a little baby or the songs with like Nikki or or every song got a feature or uh, a boogie with the hoodie. Those songs sound like their songs. Mm -hmm. So the dude, it's like he doesn't really, other than yelling and screaming, he really doesn't have a a voice. You know what I mean? Like when he's on a joint with little baby, it sounds like a little baby song. Mm -hmm. And I, I just found it, it was real. The album, it ain't bad. Like it's the half of the album is songs that fit right in with what's on the radio or you don't even know that it's a Takashi song. Mm -hmm. And then half the songs are him is him yelling nonsensical shit sounding mm. like the fifth member onyx mm. it's just and he has some really terrible like i don't even think it was like a, a thought to go in and make a song i think it was like this is a beat and i'm gonna yell and scream and say all the tough stuff i know right over a beat and all this shit is gonna come up in court this man talk about he shot so and so and he'll do this and i'm like fam what, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, it's like a Boondocks episode come to life. Dude, I'm, like, what are you doing? But it's definitely paint by the now. You got a little baby song. Kanye is on there a couple times. His ass, his coon ass. It's like with, with, with situations like this. Hold on, before I, you go, I, I have to say this one Kanye line, which let me know that he is gone forever. Hmm. This man said they tried to say I wasn't black no more. About as black as Macklemore. <laughs> Bruh. I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to sift through you're, that. You're, you're trying to make it make sense. Say I wasn't black no more. About as black as Macklemore. I mean, I guess they were saying, he's saying, folks were saying he ain't black. And if, you know, he's about as black as Macklemore. <laughs> Which means that he ain't yeah, he black, ain't black. You know what I'm I don't know if he's saying that I agree with this statement. I think he's maybe just making well, he an there. observation. Like, I don't hate he, that bar. He gone, man. <laughs> he gone. Kanye gone, man. We can go on and let him. He, he, he gone. It, it ain't no coming back, man. You know, but like in situations like this, like with the Takashi 6 9 album and all the people on it and everything, like how does this make you view artists that stand next to stuff like this? I feel like they're riding the wave. I feel like, oh, he's the hot person. Mm -hmm. He's the hot artist. Everything he touched, whether it's quality or not, gets a, a tons of listens, tons of streams. He got 15, damn near 16 million followers on Instagram. Let me ride the wave. And I've also heard. That like when you sit down and talk to him, he a cool ass dude. Mm -hmm. So when somebody is likable and they're successful, mm -hmm. it's like whether they suck or not. Like let me rock because everybody's dude. Gun is on the album. Like I said, Nicki on the album twice. Kanye on the album twice. Mm -hmm. Like when the last time Nicki Minaj been on somebody album two times. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like. And I and I also feel like they saw this shit was coming. I think it was damage control. Like, let me put together everything I can put together mm -hmm. and 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 put this project out. So you know, we we gonna see, man. It's this it's it's a cold game out there, bro. Because I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Because they keep denying this bail. They say the the trial he won't stand trial until September two thousand nineteen. So he's gonna be in jail till till, till September. That's what they're saying, unless wow. they have like an emergency bail hearing Damn. or something like that. But I'm like, I mean, what threat is he posing on the street? Apparently, all the threats that he raps about. This man is a a a, a, a terrorist. <laughs> uh, they had home. They said the marshals and homeland security came and got them niggas right. This man is like, if 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 all that's happening, and he's doing. What he rapping about? Yeah, this man is a threat to everybody. He's a threat to society. <laughs> it's a cold game, cold game. Switching gears a little bit, man. Had, had you been keeping up with the the latest uh, rap quote unquote beef with uh, Joyner Lucas and Tory Lanez? Um, very satellite like. You know, what I'm saying had not listened to anything, but I'm, I was going to get around to listening to it because I actually think Joyner Lucas is actually dope. I cannot say the, Lucas is, I, I can't I can't say the, the same about Tory Lanez. I never really got into his stuff, you know what I'm saying? But like I can vouch for, for Joyner. Like Joyner's he's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like he's dope. Tory Lanez impressed me. Hmm. 
his little litty freestyle, like he killed that shit. Ah, oh, Tory Lanez, Tory Lanez can rap for an R&B singer, for sure. But like Tory Lanez can also rap better than a lot of rappers <laughs> nowadays, which ain't saying a lot. Right. Like, but he he. He 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 did his thing. Like I think Joyner Lucas might have lightweight underestimated him mm-hmm. a little bit, and and Tory Lucas got his ass on one of them rounds. Mm. Uh, but Tory Lanez, excuse yeah. me. But yeah, Joyner Lucas is dope. I mean, Joyner Lucas, he just ain't he ain't made a song that really caught caught yet. Like, like yeah, cause, that because video for the racist shit yeah. was like sensationalism. Like oh, I can't believe he did that. Whatever. But you know, Tory Lanez kind of makes hits. Yeah, okay, like yeah, Lucas, like a lot of his stuff is like very conceptual. You know what I'm saying? So oh, yeah, his, his, vid- his videos go. You know what I'm saying? Like, his concepts go. But like, like, I, to, to your point, I saw something floating around where they were saying how a uh, little baby gave dude like a backhanded compliment. They said he was on Twitter and he was like, oh, yeah. "Man, whoever this Jordan Lucas nigga is, he hard as fuck." You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I peeped that. I did peep that. <laughs> I, I peeped that. Lil Baby dope, though, man. I fuck with Lil Baby, man. But, um, yeah, I, I just thought it was, it was interesting. And then I guess Tori was feeling it, so, man, called out Pusha T. I was like, hey, man, oh, don't, 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 let's, let's not take it too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. We, we see what happened the last time. <laughs> like, last time he had an issue with a Canadian, we see what happened. Like, let's, let's not take this shit too far. And I think what I like is I think it's all in fun. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, this is like what battle rap used to be. Ain't nobody running up on nobody getting punched. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody shooting up nothing. Like, they really just spitting bars at each other. Which I thought was really dope. Razcast jumped in it. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. His shit was kind of trash. But, like, he said a dope ass line. Uh, He said some kind of. Said something about nepotism and giving his son the business. I was like, that's a hard ass Mm -hmm. line, but it wasn't on beat. Like, he was uh, just rapping. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, I'm like, Raz just wanted a little attention. Got him on the blogs for a day or two. I, I, I'll fuck do you, with it. Do you think this will be a launching pad for more of these kind of things where it's like rappers start so, calling man. each other out and just keeping it about the challenge of the bars? I really hope so, because these niggas ain't tough, man. Yeah. Like, stop it. Like, just stop trying to be hard, because people don't even respect Gangsta no more Like gangsta ain't cool no more mm-hmm. Being hard ain't cool no more So I'm like why even try if that's not you Like right. this is rap man Be about your art Like, I, But I would love it to be about that Cause that to me that pushes the boundaries Man it's like okay I go in And I make these vibe songs And I go in and do my little reference And then fill in the words And as long as it rides the rhythm I'm good Like people ain't pushing themselves But if somebody that you know is raw is pushing you because that's what I thought was dope is that you got people from two completely different lanes mm-hmm. coming together and, and, and going at each other and kind of living in the other person's world a little bit. You don't really see that a lot no more. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was dope. Yeah, and, and to that point, like, do you think stuff like this? I mean, granted, I, I'm glad that it's getting the shine that it's getting because you know it's actually about you know saying the word play and the bars and being witty. But do you think you know events like this get too much attention because like i see so many people say stuff like oh man like niggas don't rap no more but it's like when you look at who is popular if you're if you're out here pocket watching as they say if you're like who's doing the most tours who's selling the most records it's the people that are rapping and rapping for real and rapping yeah. well so it's you're like right. where is the, all the oh man niggas don't rap no more you know like i mean from. even cats that are successful like they don't sell a ton of records but even cats that you see everywhere, like Migos, like compared to their contemporaries, Migos be rapping their ass off. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's, you really can't, can't, you really, like you said, you really can't knock a lot of the top cats. Right. Like you look at the top cats, they really be dope. They're and rapping. even if you look at the, some of the up and coming cats, like um, J.I.D. just dropped that DiCaprio too, and everybody was talking about it like he could really rap. Mm-hmm. And he's a young dude from Atlanta, the place where they talk so bad about the mumble rappers mm-hmm. and whatnot. Like, and he dope. So, yeah, you can't. I, I just honestly feel like there is so much access to music that people only going off of what they see on TV mm-hmm. or what they hear or what they think is popular instead of just listening to the stuff that they like. 
where they find what's easy to hate on. And yeah, like, oh, this, this, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> that's true. That's trash. True. Everybody's trash. That's, that's definitely that's definitely true. Uh, another joint that, that came out recently. Have you kept up with any of this Black Thought, uh, the solo stuff? I peeped the first one. Yeah, the one with four songs. Who who? Knife Wonder. Yeah, right? Knife Wonder did that one. You know, so I peep I peeped the first one. I'm I'm gonna go back and listen because like this is one of them situations where it's like everybody's getting what they ask for, and then they get it, and they're like, you know, what I'm saying it's like you know, what I'm saying it's like everybody got what they asked. Man, we want it so bad. We want it so bad. And you get it, and then you, and now everybody's like, oh, all right. I I I I like what you was doing. Thank you for what you was doing before. You know, what I'm saying so. I feel you. I feel like I didn't listen to the Knife Wonder one because I'm not the biggest fan of Knife Wonder's music. Mm -hmm. um, but Salam Remy did this one, and it was actually nine tracks. And I listened to it today because my cousin Jerm told me, he was like, man, you need to listen to this Black Thought. So I was like, let me listen to it. And it's cool. I, Black Thought, like, raps, he gives us too much. Hmm. Sometimes explain. Black thought is not. It's just. It's a. It's a long stream of consciousness. And when he's rapping over like fast drums, he gonna give you so much that you concentrating so hard on what he's saying. It's hard to enjoy the song because hmm. you're trying to catch every bar. Because hmm. he's give. He doesn't have filler bars. Mm -hmm. He's giving you something in every single bar. And I think, like, I like his stuff better when he raps over slower beats. Hmm. Like, he got a joint on this new one called Conception over a Marvin Gaye sample. And the joint is, is dope. Like, it's it's really dope. It's like, he, I want more of that when The Roots was making platinum records, Black Thug. Hmm. Like, that's, that's what I want to hear. Because I feel like everybody know you can rap. Mm -hmm. Everybody know you one of the best. You ain't got to prove it. Like give us songs. Well, like, I mean, they, well, you know that that may be where he's at. I mean, coming I mean, one, you know, I mean, the man's name is Black Thought, so I'm thinking, you know, that this is what I do. Stream of consciousness, thought, thought, thought. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like, um, he might be in a space where it's like, no, I do have something to prove. All these years, y'all thought I was in a group. And you know what I'm saying Y'all just thought about the dude with the afro You know what I'm saying Yeah Like I was second fiddle to the dude with the afro yeah. You know what I'm saying It's like I'm second fiddle I'm second fiddle on the, on the late night TV show Like they, 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 they know me on there But it's like everybody thinks Roots they think The guy with the afro You know what I'm saying So it's like Now after so many years of Man give us this Give us this Give us this He's just like letting it all air out You know what I'm saying And it's like no I don't, I've been making songs since 1994. You getting these bars now? You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and you're getting them at a rapid pace. You know what I'm saying? Like this is, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> yeah. But I, I also want to hear him collaborate with other rappers. Like I want to hear what a Black Thought J Cole song sounds like. I want to hear what a Black Thought Little Baby song sounds like. Cause let's not forget that dude is hood as fuck. Like you hear his story, like he really from the shit, and, and it's like, he's also a fresh ass dude. So I want to hear more of that. Like, and it's like right? one thing I always respected about him was like, um, if you've been fortunate to see a root show, sometimes like you don't know what's about to happen, right. and they will pull out something that you were not expecting. And I've seen times where. They do the whole thing. It was like, we got a special guest for y'all. And like folks be thinking, oh, it's going to be Jill, Jill Scott <laughs> Common. And it'd be like Andre Nicotina. Or 2 Chains or something. Or Project Pat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, the, and the crowd is like, what is right. going on if, here? If y'all don't know Black Dog's <laughs> story, man, y'all need to look up that story. That man has lived a life, bruh. So he got... Stuff to talk about And I think he be talking about it Just go over a lot of people's heads Cause yeah. it's filled with a lot of stuff People don't know Like uh, I don't even know what song it is On the album And you might know this Cause it got something to do with Georgia But he has a bar It says a lot of conflict zones The swords are shown I'm just trying to study all the language On the Georgia Stones I had never heard of the Georgia Stones Until earlier that day hmm. When my friend Brittany Asked me that I know what it was <laughs> and then I'm listening to Black Thought 
and he brings it up. I'm like, she a doctor, and this motherfucker I mean, one of the best rappers they, 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 in the world. They, they, so maybe they, they, I just, I mean, that's above my right. My pay grade. And it's like to the point we're making about this man's music solo. Like this is probably like where he's at. You know what I'm saying? He's like, bruh, this, this is what Black Thought solo sounds like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this, 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 this. You wanted that. This is what that is. You're going to hear some things that's going to make you go look up something in the encyclopedia. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to listen to this over and over and over and over and over again right. to fully understand where I'm coming from. Like, this, this is who that man is. Had you, had you ever heard of the Georgia Guidestones before, though? No, I can't say that I did, man. Okay, so this, this is going to be our history for the... The stones are somewhere in called Elbert County, Georgia. You ever heard of Elbert County? I'm pretty sure I have and looked it up at some point, but it's not something that I held on to. Sound like somewhere where they had to claim. <laughs> um, so they had the, they're called the American Stonehenge. It came up in 1980 due to its resemblance to Stonehenge in England. They're an astronomical calendar as well as a display of, ten, of a set of 10 guides that are intended for post-apocalypse scenarios, and they're written in eight different languages. Mm. Bro, I've never <laughs> heard of this shit in my... So you look it up now, where is it? It looks like North Georgia. Where is Elbert County? It's, it's in Northeast Georgia. Let's see how close this is. Let's see. Just before the South Carolina border, up the Savannah River... So it's on that side. Yeah, like okay. it's like north, 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 like east Hilton Georgia. Head, like up there. Yeah, okay. yeah, like northeast That's Georgia. Wh- bro, I had never heard of that shit in my life. So I was like, I, I learned something today. Now I want to go see it for myself. Right, and it, 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 like I said, like this probably like this is what a Black Thought solo career looks like. It's like, bro, you you about to get some Black Thought? You about to think? You about to go look up what I'm talking about? You know I what I'm saying? So, there man. is there is no just. I'm riding in the car vibing. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I guess so. you would you you would, you would listen to this in your study with you know what I'm saying <laughs> with, <laughs> with a blunt and some cognac. You're right. You know what I'm saying with the, some tea with the with the, with, the, with, the, with the hawk <laughs> hanging from the wall. <laughs> right, my dude. But my question is this: Like, we wanted a Black Thought album like ten years ago, mm-hmm. solo album. Why do you think it is that rappers wait so long? Like, we waited forever for E-40 and Too Short to bring out an album. We never got Detox. We, everybody wanted Nas and Kanye to do something. When they did it, it was trash. Like, what, what, why do you think these cats wait so long? Like, do they not understand supply and demand? I don't know if it's a wait. Um, I think sometimes you have artists that really just be so caught up in what they're doing that they're not... It's not like registering, you know what I'm saying? Like they're like, bruh, why? Like I can't get inside the man's head. I can't speak for him, but it's like if I'm Black Thought and I'm in a band that is a very successful band, we are touring the world all the time. We are selling records. We are on late nights. You know what I'm saying? Doing all these things, it's probably not going to register. You know what I need to do? I didn't do my own shit. But he had been <laughs> saying that we didn't bring it up. He brought it up that he was going to do a solo album. Like a long time ago, yeah, the, yeah. the, the Masterpiece Theater, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But again, you know, it's like it was probably a thought at the time, and you're like, you know what, man? I'm busy doing this, you know what I'm saying? When you look at a e E4, four E40 and Too Short situation, they're probably like, bro, like, this E-40 thing is still working for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can do a song with Short Dog here and there like he always does. Like, get yeah. a song with well, a lot album, of those you know songs were, some, were some, like Rapper's Ball is a song that was supposed to be, they recorded it for their joint album. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That happens a lot. Like, we've heard a lot of detox songs you on know, other people's albums. And a, and a lot of times, you know, I think sometimes artists, they want to appease some of their fans. But sometimes I think, um, they may not want to believe the hype as you know what I'm saying public enemy once said. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you know, sometimes you listen to that hype, it'll it'll put you down a road that you did not want to go to like, bro, you know what you need to do? <laughs> you need to do this. Like, imagine twenty thousand people that don't know what the fuck they talking about telling you what you need to do, then you mess around and do it. And now you're like, man, I should never listen to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Why did I do this? But the you know thing what I'm is you ain't gotta bring it out. 
if the shit ain't cool once you record it, don't bring it but up. But how, how do you know that it ain't cool? Like, like if you got all these people that, you need to do this, you need to do this, and then you, 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 Every, you do it, you just going to be like, no, nah, nah, you know what I'm saying? Every artist needs somebody in their circle to keep it 100. They're like, bro, I love you, but that shit trash. <laughs> you don't need to put that shit out. Mm-hmm. Period. Um, bringing it back um, to Atlanta real quick, man. Georgia, make sure that y'all early voting started already, man. Make sure that y'all go out for the runoff election on December 4th. All the stuff y'all was bitching about, about <laughs> Brian Kemp being Secretary of State and also running for governor. Well, this is an election for Secretary of State between John Barrow and Brad how you, Raffensperger. 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 Uh, y'all care about this So John is the Democrat And Brad is the Republican uh, On December 4th for Secretary of State So if you was bitching and moaning Talking about how unfair the election mm-hmm. was And you was with Stacy And yada 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 Make sure you get your ass out They white <laughs> so they, His name is John Barrow When the last time you I know one brother with the last name right. Barrow But you know but like, but like, some, I mean this I mean People act like they, it's not valid. I mean, race is very valid in politics. Like this, you know, what I'm saying like you you make decisions based off that. You know, what I'm saying a lot of times, but but it's like, right or wrong. But, but the thing about this is like, do your research on these folks. Cause like, there's a lot of people out here that were Republican for decades. Hello, and then they switch up and become Democrats. You know, what I'm saying because they're like, oh man, that Republican shit kind of crowded. You know, what I'm saying let me. Jump over here, you know what I'm saying? Or you know, some yeah. some 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 of them may have a quote unquote, you know, change in how they roll, Ideology you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But it it's not always it, it's never like extreme, you and, know what I'm saying? And let's not get it twisted. Like the Democratic parties and Republican parties as a whole have changed in ideology mm-hmm. decade over decade. So I mean, we're witnessing that right now. You got a a person who all his decisions for the most part for years were democratic and won the presidency as a Republican. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I, I say vote policy, don't vote party. Right. So do your research on both of these people. Once again, John Barrow, the Democrat and the Republican, Brad Raffensperger, Raffensperger, however you say his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and do your research, man, and go. Early voting already started. The election is December fourth. Get your ass out there, man. And, and it, I was having this 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 talk with my wife over the weekend, man. Like, we see these maps that come out post election, right? And like all over the country. But I'll, I'll keep it about Georgia and Atlanta specifically. Like, we see these post election maps. Where it's like everything is so polarized now. It's yeah. like left, right, red, blue, black, white. But it's like. Do you think like I always I find it interesting now because like those maps will make you think that you don't know any of these people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like you know I'm, I'm like because I see these maps I'm like I have to know some of these folks, but the map would make you think of otherwise because like I mean, I've had to have stood in the stood behind this person in line at Kroger. You work with them. You know what I'm saying? I I, I, I I work with them. I probably was on the treadmill at LA Fitness next to this person. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But the maps make it look like. Oh man, this is the person that's way over there in a whole other world that you don't know you that, that, that you need to hate and that you, you know what I'm saying, need to dislike. You know what I'm saying? So. You gotta remember they only showing who won in these counties. They ain't showing how many people voted on both sides mm-hmm. when you see those maps. But you know, it's it's a cold game, man. Pay like, attention to what's going on. Like that's was, all I can say. I was watching Bill Maher. He said something interesting. I'm not all the way sure if I believe in it, you know what I'm saying, yet. But he, he made an interesting point. He was like, man, in 2018, people might need to talk about politics less. You know what I'm saying? Like, try to find other shit to talk about because you're not going to change anybody's mind out here. Like, you are not going to go into somebody's house that got a Make America Great hat on and be like, <laughs> let me tell you why you should pay attention to Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that shit probably ain't going to happen. So the, po- sad, the point he was making though. was like, try to talk about other things you know what I'm saying? Not have no don't bring politics to the front door immediately. Try to find other things to talk about and you know what I'm saying? And hopefully that will try to like But bro, you that's know. what's sad. People don't want to talk about politics in general. They want to talk about how shit affects them personally. Not even they people, not even they neighborhood, mm-hmm. not even they family have the time. They talk about how it affects them. Period. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem. Everybody only care about themselves. 
and they riding. They they want to feel like they're a part of something, like it's a gang or some shit. These people don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> At the end of the day, man, that's just what it is, bro. Do your research, man. Stop watching all these news channels only and taking all your information from that, man. Like that, the, the day that that they started showing commercials on the news is the day <laughs> that the news stopped being about giving information and started being about ratings. And that's what it is at the end of the day, man. It's all about ratings. It's all a game. I, and I ain't just talking shit. I've worked in newsrooms. I've been in the meetings. I know what it is. I've seen the talking points that come down from different government organizations. That's just what it is, man. Think for yourself at the end of the day, man. But we're about to get up out of here, bro. We appreciate y'all listening. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you go to Day One Radio. That is D-A-Y, the number one radio on all your social media. And follow us. Talk to us. We'll talk back. And also subscribe, rate, and review. And we'll see you next week with another dope show. Peace.